what they do you too what they do look at here look at here look at here man let's go ahead and start this thing off right let's start this thing off right man hit the like subscribe hit the share button hit the notification button and let's keep pushing this platform forward <clears throat> Also, if you got a loved one doing time in prison, send them a copy of the number one magazine publication in the nation. Yeah, that's right. The number one magazine publication in the nation, Street Elements Magazine. Man, I told y'all, but y'all didn't listen. Y'all thought I was tripping. Hey, man, OG tripping, dog. No, man, I told y'all. Did it? Should have took him 240 months. He should have been planning when I said it because nobody thought, everybody thought I was just capping, man. Look at here, bro. <clears throat> I understand how these people work. I understand how the government work. And I'm going to put y'all up on game. All crimes are commercial. All crimes are commercial. So when I seen, when we all seen. The rapper and music executive perhaps being linked to a sex trafficking investigation. He got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information from. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say less than 10 minutes. So when I seen, when we all seen Homeland Security, the DEA, the FBI, ATF, we seen all these <clears throat> organizations, law enforcement organizations at Diddy's properties, right then the tab is building. Meaning once all them people are dispersed out of your house, there's a tab come behind that. I mean, you, you collecting a debt. Y'all really don't get it, man. Y'all really think these people locking Diddy up because he was running some trains. Come on, man. Man, trains been ran a long time, bro. Entertainment industry, music industry, football, basketball, baseball, politicians, anybody that got money, and a lot of it, you got these orgies going on, man. Come on, dog. My hair was really long, naturally. And I was just like, I'm going to go chop my hair off so I can at least look a little different. I came back with short hair, and he flipped out on me. And he was screaming at me and said it made me look old, hard, and cheap. I remember when she cut her hair. He was very unhappy about it. Yep, his world. That would be pretty. It ain't really about that. It ain't really about that. It's about did he cross somebody? Did he cross somebody that put him in play? What they say? Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Right? Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Black dudes who went rogue, who start talking about these big time billion dollar corporations, stock market. When you affect a, a person's stock, when you fuck with their stock, and they made you a billionaire, they made you. They look at you and say, "Nigga, you ain't sold that many records to make you a billionaire. You ain't sold that many things to make you a billionaire. We partnered up with you." using your name and likeness and your brand and you made millions. We made you a billionaire. And when you go to talking that wild shit, when you go to talking that wild shit, hey, happy birthday. They will break you. I'm telling y'all some good shit. Think about the guys who done got on this app and talk about these people and their nationality. 
and talk about the other guys who were in the room that they made billionaires and now you out the room and you want to talk shit about the dudes that's in the room and the people who made all these people. I'll give you some good information. See, you have a choice to go up in that room to sell your soul to the devil. <clears throat> Did it bit the same hand that was feeding him? The same people that put him in plow, put him in different positions, help him maybe to open up some doors for him and his family. He crossed them. He crossed them. Face test. I told you you was gonna get that work, boy. I told you you was gonna get that work. See the big love cubes. We are gonna do the taste test. I'm the taste testee. Now I'm gonna be fair. I don't really do no sucker shit. You know, I don't like to, I wouldn't tell a lie to just promote my own greatness. I'm with competition. I got the receipts and the receipts is a taste. Let me get this hand dog right here. Maybe we would act crazy. Now, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. Huh? Now, this elegant, smooth. Tastes way better. Tastes like money. I wouldn't lie to you. You can keep rocking with the Hennessy, or you can rock with your brother, Ciroc VS. Me and that brown game now, baby. And this is not a vodka. That's what's going on with Diddy, bro. It ain't called this man was running no trains. Now, some of the shit that he was doing, yeah, it's foul. I ain't know he was in no, he a Buddha bandit. We all know that now. He a Buddha bandit, right? But that ain't what it's about, dog. They sell sex toys, all type of things to please yourself online. They have parties, they have locations, clubs. Come on, bro. It ain't about that. Did it cause some people to lose some money? And a lot of it. And a lot of it. It ain't really about that, what they're what they saying, bro. They whole goal with this whole thing, bro, is like it is with everybody, is to break him. I heard people saying, oh, man, Diddy got too much money. Man, he ain't seeing them, he ain't seeing them white boy. He ain't seeing them, man. He don't see no feds. He got too much money, man. Diddy pay for too long. I guarantee they ain't loaned in the United States government because they print money. I guarantee you his paper ain't long as the United States government when it come down to prosecuting you because somebody said, look at man, go take care of that for us. Buddy, hey, he, he, he getting out of line. He getting out a little out of control. They did it to every leader, so-called leader, that we done had. Whenever you have a leader and Diddy at the time was a leader in the music industry, so he is a leader because these are the people that they put in front of us to look at as people to be like. People want to be like Diddy. People want to be like Jay-Z. People want to be like Rick Ross. People want to be like Beyonce. People want to be like the entertainers. They don't want to be like the preachers no more. They can care less to be like athletes. You got a few of them that want to be athletes. But it's mainly the entertainers is what they put in front of us now. So when they get out of line, what they do? <clears throat> Cancel their contract. Same thing with R. Kelly. Y'all think it's really about R. Kelly running some trains on some young bitches? Nah, dog. It ain't about that. They want to put R. Kelly away so they can get rid of R.B. music. Because the music that he was singing was making people procreate so you got to get rid of that how can you do it make him look bad you make him look bad 
Nobody don't want to listen to him no more. You don't hear his music being played no more. Now you don't even hear R&B no more. Unless you go to status on Thursday. You got to have a night for R&B. They had to get rid of that frequency, that noise, and what we call music. You know, I feel sorry for Diddy. Because that's all it is, dog. He stopped playing ball. He went against the grain. Just like Tony did Sosa. He went against the grain. What happened when Tony crossed Sosa? Sent them boys at him. So when Diddy crossed, maybe the people who own Ciroc, maybe when he crossed them and some other people, said some things loud, oh, black ex excellence and <clears throat> different things like that. Maybe they say, man, they getting a little too big, getting a little too besides itself. See, you see, Jay-Z don't really say too much. They got Jay-Z like this. Jay-Z don't say nothing. He's not as vocal as P. Diddy was. See, P. Diddy was like the puppet master. Stephen Fletcher. You know? An entertainer. JG keep his mouth closed. He don't say too much. He already know, man. Them people do this. They know this on me. They got this on me. They got a lot of shit on them people, man. They got too much money, man. They be in everybody's business. Come on, man. They, 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 they in too many people business, bro. I'm going to tell you what's going on right now, though. Let's keep this shit 1,000. Right now, Diddy in the whole Diddy in the cell right now. Laying down, maybe trying to use the phone. May have to try and order some canteen and shit. Got to get us some canteen. Let me see. Getting all the phone numbers and shit he need to call. Might try and get some. Nah, boy, it's gonna be hard to get him a phone, boy, because he's so high profile. And he don't really know how to be two, th three quarters slick. It's gonna be hard for him to. He might can get a phone or nothing. He got some paper, but boy, I don't know, boy. I don't know if he gonna be able to get no phone. He got the money to get a phone. It's just gonna be hard because he got so many. Unless they put him in the open. Now they put him in the open dorm. If I would did, I said, man, put me in the open dorm, man. But nah, damn, boy, it's hard. It's gonna be hard for him, man. He got them fucked up charges. He can't go in there with his head up. I mean, unless he, unless he gonna be like Fleece Johnson. If he walk in there with his head up like Fleece Johnson, hey, look at him, man. I'm a, hey, dog, I'm gonna add, you know, whatever. I chase ass and all this hill. You know, he gonna keep it 1,000. I guess he can go in there like that. But other than that, man, dude's gonna be looking at Diddy sideways, man. It's just because the, heart, the charges is, man. The way he got the charges written up on him, man. And all the stuff they put out there in the media. See, the media is what's going to kill him. You know, the media is going to kill him, man. The big media company, they're going to be putting out so much. so Because we got to get the information from them. That's where the smaller bloggers and other news outlets get the, the information from it from the main media outlets. But, you know. Hey, I just... Can I get home, huh? Are you guys his neighbors? Yeah. yeah. Really? So, so what's it like? What do you guys think's going on? I don't uh, know. He's, he's touching people. He, he do too much. Are you serious? He, he do too much. Oh, he's man. touching people. Hey, he's not hey, supposed hey, to be touching. Hey, limos. What's, hey, your, limos. Exper what's your experience with Diddy? What's your experience? I ain't never <laughs> going over there. Yeah? Hey, hey, when my back, hey, when my back. Me, myself, over here, I just keep it 1,000. Man, he need to go ahead and try and get him 240 months. Get, um, tell him he got a drug problem. 
he get the RDAP program and um, get a year offset responsibility. Man, he probably be home by 15 years, 17 years, dog. Come on out. Live your life. Tit on a lot. He probably gonna, I don't know what he gonna do when he get out. I really don't know what he gonna do when he get out, man, but look at him, bro. It's a, it, the whole thing, this whole thing it really is about breaking Diddy. At the end of the day, they wanna break him because he crossed him. And they say, man, we the one gave you the money. So we're going to take it back from you. And we know how to get it back from you. I read a book, man. And if any one of y'all in the reading, get this book by Sister Soldier called Midnight. And in Midnight, it had a quote that always stuck with me. It said, it take a lifetime to build a good reputation. And it take one second to throw it all away. So Diddy done built a lifetime to build up his reputation, his wealth, to put things in place for his family. And it takes one second for them to say, you know what, go get his ass. And throw all that shit away. This is the same thing, if you anybody do some history, this is the same thing that the Spanish, the, the, the king of Spain did with Cortez. After Cortez came to America, and conquered the Mayans. They brought his ass back to court. You know, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother subject. I can't, I can't give y'all that information all right, right now at one time. You know, we have to go into history. And I'm gonna start bringing history to the platform just so I could educate you guys a little bit on history, man. You know, but. Hey, Diddy gotta fight it just like we all had to fight it. He gotta spend his money. He ain't no money, he just another black man with a case. That's all he is at the end of the day. He's just another black man with a case, and he got to fight it. And y'all hit like, follow, subscribe, share, hit the notification button, man. And let's go ahead and push this platform forward, man. Also, if you got a loved one doing time in prison, make sure you send them a copy of Street Elements Magazine, the number one magazine publication in the nation. We've been doing this for 16 years straight, man. 16 years straight. Make it happen. Oh, you capping.